Hey there friends, it's Livid here, and welcome back to Legacy Game, and another exciting video about Deathloop. Let me ask you a question. What's better than one gun? How about three? Today, let's talk about one of four legendary weapons that you can get in the game. And before we get any further, no, there won't be any story spoilers in this video. The Strelik Verso is another legendary hybrid weapon. Maybe you've already seen our Heritage Gun video, so you kind of already know what's going on here. Just like the Heritage Gun, you can toggle between dual-wielding semi-automatic pistols and a burst assault rifle. It's a really cool combination that may fit some more run-and-gun playstyles. Now there's a lot of flexibility that allows for some close-range mayhem, while also being perfectly acceptable when dealing with mid-range encounters. It's just an overall good weapon that brings a lot to the table. To get the Strelik Verso, you need to head to the complex at noon. There won't be any visionaries around, which is good, because you won't have to worry about Giuliano, but the complex itself is crawling with Eternal. We actually got this weapon pretty early on, before we were really decked out, so it was a bit more cautious when sneaking around. But if you're confident in your abilities, you can really run all over the place, clearing out everyone and completing the necessary puzzle elements without interruption. Now to find the Strelik Verso location, we have to get to the Ordnance Depot, which is deep within one of the bunkers. When you zone in, you'll be at the main entrance of the complex. Clear the Eternalists that are guarding the entrance and you'll be able to walk right through the front door. Now things can get a bit tricky in this next room, as there are a number of Eternalists on multiple levels, so feel free to kill one, aggroing them all, and backpedal, forcing them to funnel into a kill zone. However you choose to kill them is up to you, but definitely get rid of them. You'll have to move through this area multiple times, and if you leave anyone alive, it'll be kind of a pain. To get to the Ordnance Depot, head through the giant steel door marked with an X. Shift or double jump your way up to the catwalk and move through the circular room and descend down on the other side. On the right is our goal, a room with a pair of locked doors. Now you'll notice there are four lights next to the door, one green and three red. To the left of that box are four battery slots. As you can see, we're missing three batteries, so that's where we're headed next. There are a number of ways to get the three batteries, but let's keep this simple and straightforward. Head back the way you came and through the bunker. We're headed to the loop control room on the other side of the complex. Go straight across the bunker until you're in a little outside area. Kill the few Eternalists, however you see fit, disable the security camera in a similar fashion, and head inside. In the loop control center, turn left and up the stairs. Before worrying about the batteries, take out the three Eternalists inside, clearing the room of any enemies. We need three batteries in total. Now the first is already socketed in the projector in the middle of the room. Yoink that out and make your way back to the locked door. We're going fast through the back and forth because I think you get the point here. But if you do get lost, just remember that you need to go back to the big bunker and through the door with the red X. Once you've socketed the second battery, go back to the loop control center, up the stairs to the left, and sitting on the ground will be the two remaining batteries. We decided to charge these bad boys up before going back to the door just in case. Using some editing magic, we'll fast forward to here, right before putting in that fourth battery. Once all four are socketed, the lights will turn green and you can press the button and pick yourself up the Strelik Verso. Like I said in the intro, this weapon, or weapons, whatever you want to call it, is all about flexibility and fits the fast-paced nature of the combat, if that's how you choose to play the game. Kodiak really didn't use dual pistols all that much, but if that's your thing, these are lights out. Headshots, body shots, wherever you hit your mark, it'll hurt. Now where we truly think that the Strelik shines is the burst fire mode. There's nothing else like it in the game, and because of that it cements itself nicely as a unique weapon that you need to have in your arsenal. Look at every other shooter, there's always a burst assault rifle that players love, and that's kind of the case for this variation of the Strelik burst. In terms of building this gun out, I definitely recommend the following treatments. Speed loader for the obvious quick reload speed, lightning strike which gives your burst fire mode a lot more effective range, and Sure Shot, again improving the effectiveness of the burst fire mode. We don't think the dual pistols need much love from the trinkets. They get the job done just fine, but with a little boost to the mid-range aspect of this weapon. The Strelik Verso is interesting because you can actually keep unlocking this weapon until you're happy with the passive perk that it rolls with. If you find something that you don't like, just run the complex again and unlock a new pair of pistols. It's one of two legendaries that actually gives you a little choice in the map, so take advantage of it. So there you have it, a quick and easy guide for getting the Strelik Verso in Deathloop. If this video helped you appreciate our no bullshit approach to making content, we'd love your support. Hit that thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. We'll have more Deathloop content coming your way, and of course we'll continue to cover the newest games coming out. 
to stick around on the channel for more great content in your feeds. We also invite you to join us on Discord. We've got a great group of around 7,000 members, so if you like games and you want to hang out in our community, just check the link in the description below and join today. Finally, if you like everything that we stand for here at Legacy Gaming and you want to help us out just a little bit more, you can now do so by becoming a member. For just a couple bucks, you're helping evolve the channel and take our community to the next level. Check out the join button below to learn more. My name is Livid, and from everyone here at Legacy Gaming, thanks for watching and play on.